Hello everyone, welcome back. KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, and this video comes in a matter of moments from coming home from work and sitting down to make this video because this was sent to me July of 2021. And it was not even published yet when it was sent to me, and I lost it. I just found it, one of the boxes that went in my garage. I had to make the video. Gianni in Italy had sent me this right here. This is the Encyclopedia for Ham Radio, developed by IK0WMJ. Give me a chance here before you click off this video. I want you to know something because I was excited about this and learned a lot of stuff in it, and you can too. The first thing you do, to shout out to my sponsors, Ham Radio Prep. So I've, you've seen my commercials. I tell you Ham Radio Prep, you get a license, but then what? Everybody does it. They get their license. Ham Radio Prep teaches you some, but it does not teach you what's in this book. But Ham Radio Prep is the easiest way to get your license. If you use the code ERIC20, you save 20% on any course you buy. And I am going to make some live streams using Ham Radio Prep to finally get my extra. Because you guys are yelling at me I should have an extra. I should be using Ham Radio Prep. So I'll do that. And I'll show you how the course works and all the videos and everything in between. But thank you to Ham Radio Prep and use the code ERIC20. Links in the description. You save 20%. So then you get a license. You're like, now what? What do I do? But... This isn't going to tell you how to operate ham radio, but guys, listen to this. POTA, parks in the air, summits on the air, uh, field day, portable operations, emergency preppers, people that want to know country prefixes. You want to know SWR conversion charts. You want to know frequencies. You want to know different countries. The, the, the most sought after countries in the world for DX, rare DX, it's all in this book. I'm going to show you what this book has in here. And I'll show you right on the front here. Maps, prefixes, frequencies, reciprocs, reciproc, I, I always had trouble saying that word. Reciprocity. Legal power and technique. It'll tell you different countries, the power they can, the license classes they have, the, the prefixes, you know, where they're at on a map, you know, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to show you. ITU and no IT prefixes and alias. DXCC entities, 63 maps. CQ zones, the most wanted, as I said. License reciprocity. I did it again. Legal power, QTH grid locator, propagation, decibel gain, coaxial cable, site satellite, and the Q code for international. You never hear me say it. QSL? No. It's in here, but the Q codes are in here. I'm going to show you right now, and this is a 2022, so this is still valid, but when I got this from Gianni, it wasn't even published yet. So that was my fault. Thanks, Gianni, though. Here's the video right now. Okay, so this book uh, is made in, all the pages are laminated. So if you are portable out in the field and it's raining, no problem, okay? It's also spiral bound. So it makes it a lot easier to go through the pages. Um, on the, the it's, you know, I like to, you know, you gotta appreciate something. When someone does something like this, yeah, you know, they make profit for their efforts of researching this. It's updated every year, but, you know, you may say, for those of you who leave a comment, I can get all the information for, for free on the internet, you know, and I don't have to keep my phone with me. But those guys out there that don't have phones, maybe you're on a de-expedition, man, having something like this, whether you're a brand new tech or general or extra, and you've gotten your license and you want to learn some stuff, this is a ham's creation that's at its finest. So the pages are all laminated, okay? On the very outside, you'll see... This opens up like this. And I want your comments on what you think, because it does take something to publish something like this. Here's the Amtradio world map, okay, the Pacific area. And it shows you, you know, different regions, different, uh, you know, like why am I a KJ4, you know, the foreland uh, or IT region, you know, uh, foreland there and eight and six land over here. Then you got the IT regions and stuff. It's, it's there, okay. So... We go like this. Okay. Now, inside, and I hope you can see this in the video. I'm going to read it upside down. So inside, here's the index, and, and I'll show you some stuff here. You know, the best guide to the ITU and no ITU prefixes. You got imagery or world map, which I showed you. Prefixes, uh, you know, and then all of this here, including the comparative and synthetic band plan, uh, all the IT regions, among the most interesting sites for amateur radio. If you want to learn more, the sites are in here. It shows you, hey, if you want to learn about this, check this out. The links are in there. 
uh, decibels and how to know what decibels mean. You know, um, characteristic of the most conventional coaxial cables, propagation, satellites, and more. So let's go through this here. Just, and I, I won't go through every single page. I'll try to keep the video as interesting as possible, but short, okay? Um, so like here, okay? So it gives you right here the most wanted based on, you know, five dots here in the red all the way to the, you know, at least wanted, if you want to call it that. And, and when you look at this, all right, it'll, it'll show you on here the continent that it's on, the ITU region, the CQ zone, uh, other prefixes here, um, you know, the country or DXCC entity. So there's a lot of stuff that I don't know about GXCC entity. And usually in my head when I'm doing this and playing on radio, you know, if I hear something like IK0 or MW0, I know it's a foreign country. But by the time, you know, some people say, well, I have my laptop with me while I'm out in the field. Well, some people don't. Some people refuse to. Some people can't. And having something like this, you can get an idea of where you're talking. Okay. And look, this goes for pages. Look at this. All right. Pages and pages. There's a lot of countries out there, guys. A lot of countries that people search for. They're DX junkies, you know. They, they want those stations. Those are in here, okay. That's already on page 12. Look at this. And see, so the red one's here. Let's look at this. All right, so Crozet Island. FT0W is the prefix. And, and I don't even know where that is. Crozet Island or Karugalan Island, FT8X. I guess it's on the continent of Africa. It's an ITU 68, CQ zone 39, and other prefixes that go along with that. So I can tell you right now, with that little bit of information, I know where to look on the map. You know, then you get one of these, you know, from, I bought these from Ham Radio Outlet. These are uh, ARRL world maps, world azimuthal map, and then you know which way to point your beam. I haven't opened those yet or done, you know, I bought them on the grand opening and I wanted to put them up. But anyways, you get the idea. Look at this, all kinds of stuff, guys, right? So we're gonna keep going with this. Uh, I'll look at one more. These are all blue. So I guess these are really not, you know, I mean, Asiatic Russia is evidently not a uh, major gotta have it contact, you know what I mean? But this one's almost Mount Athos. That's in Europe. Prefix would be Sierra Victor slash Alpha. That's the only prefix there, it says. So if you hear a Sierra Victor slash Alpha, you better grab it because that's a pretty good one. It's in Europe, ITU 28, CQ Zone 20. You see what I mean? I hope that's interesting to you. And we keep going. Okay. Keep going. Now, so that's the end of that. Okay. Then we go into here. So this is the list of nations and related prefixes, right? Give you an idea of this. Okay, it's got the flags there. It's got the, uh, you know, the, the country name. It says it does not include all DXCC entities, but it's got, um, you know, prefixes and the, like Russia is usually like RU, I guess. So if we go to Russia, R, you can have RUI, RUA, you know what I mean? Uh, Slovakia, OM. So that gives you an idea learning something like this. Wow, OM station, that's Slovakia, you know? And South Korea is... Delta Sierra or through Delta Tango, you know? All right, so then we go like this. Prefixes and call area for nations with maps. That's pretty cool. So Republic of Cyprus, you know, 1B and 1A is over here. Italy, Rome, um, you know, and the maps. Algeria, Dominican Republic of Congo. No, Democratic Republic of Congo. That's upside down here. Um, Senegal, Nigeria, stuff like that, right? And you know what? If it ain't for ham radio, you can still learn from this thing, man. Because there's a lot of countries I want to learn about. Look at all the little regions and stuff, you know. We have regions in the United States. You may have never talked on a DX contact in your life, but you can learn more about them over here. All right. Something like this. So here's more Philippines, Uruguay. Okay. And you got here. So as I said, if you look at this here, the United States of America, right, you'll only ever hear someone licensed in the U.S., a kilo, an alpha, alpha, or a Lima, or a November, or a Whiskey, right? And a lot of people have seen our videos, my videos, any videos on YouTube from other ham guys, Josh and them, you know, you know, well, I know when someone says six, like Bob's K6UDA. Bob K6UDA also has a YouTube channel. He now lives in Ohio, or I'm sorry, Idaho, but he was a six lander. That's what we call six land, four land. 
Anybody over here is four, right? So if you're a new ham, this will definitely keep you an uh, idea of what you're doing and how to learn because I didn't have a book like this when I got a ham license and it just took time looking online and hearing people and knowing where they were at, you know? So, and, and so with that being said, because I like to ramble and talk, this is the United States, but look, you got the same thing happens in Panama, and Ecuador, you know, in Ecuador, people are talking on ham radio. Maybe this guy's in one and he's talking to three land. He knows it's on the other side of Ecuador, right? Maybe you're moving to Ecuador. Maybe you're moving to Japan. Well, Japan has their own little, you know, areas as well, right? A lot of cool stuff, man. A lot of cool stuff. So you get that. Okay. So we're going to go on here now. Okay. That's South Pole. <laughs> yep. And that's a little, there is a couple typos in here. I've seen character without an H, or this is Antarctica, which is uh, Antarctica. Well, actually, I'm not going to say it's a typo. You know why? Because if I'm wrong, I'm going to get hounded by you guys. So if that's a typo, it's a typo. Big deal, whatever. Okay. New Zealand. All right. So now we go here. This next thing is the comparative and synthetic band plan, IARU. All right. And low frequency, high frequency um, gives you an idea of, the primary of, like, for instance, some bands, we as ham radio operators are secondary users. I think 30 meters is one of them, 10 megahertz. And that's because other countries will use that or not specifically that one, but for other ones. This will tell you here in green, you know, if it's, a, 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 you know, a status primary amateur or if you're forbidden to talk, you know, uh, on those frequencies or whatever, you know, like this here. Uh, it kind of gives you that low frequency and high frequency and it tells you up here too all modes you know am if am is allowed here you know on each band like this right and um uh based on what country you're in and digital modes eme stuff like that so a very good again you don't learn this kind of stuff uh just by yourself even if you even if you use ham radio prep and you get a license or you use their book. This book does not have, this Ham Radio Prep also makes a book here, okay? And this will show you some stuff like this, you know, tropospheric ducting and give you some quizzes and, and, and uh, this and that, you know, repeaters, how that works. But it will not tell you all of this. That's, what, that's the point I'm trying to make, all right? Because I know I'm gonna get the people to say, oh, all right, so here's all the bands, you know, all the way up to, let's see. All the way up to uh, 13 centimeter. What you can do there, the band plans and stuff. Okay, pretty cool stuff. Now, this is I I A R U region one, Europe, Africa, Middle East, and Northern Asia. It tells you the country, uh, the member societies, the country territory. Okay, and yeah, it tells you all that stuff here. Now the next little section here. Nations and or, uh, official organizations of the QS, QSL Bureau. So a lot of people, uh, you know, when you look on, uh, if you're new and you look on contacts or, or you make contacts where you see PSK 31 or RIDI and it'll say QSL good via the Bureau. Well, this is how people know what Bureau to use for what country. Okay. I'm not really proficient at that. I've never sent one through my life, in my life through the Bureau, but that's what that's for. Okay, so that gives you that information. Again, if you're an old timer or somebody that's been doing this way longer than I've been alive, I'm hoping you can still learn something in something like this. The ham radio encyclopedia, I call it. Now, this is the license recip here it comes that word again. Reciprocity reciprocity. <laughs> Some words are just hard to say, guys, all right? And legal power in the world. So great because I know in Australia, you know, and, and UK, they have different power levels for different license classes. So you can look on here and see per country what, you know, uh, what you're allowed to do. So this is here, the Maidenhead Locator or QTH Grid Square. Always good to know what that is, right? Because a lot of people don't know what grid squares are and they don't know where they're at, okay? World time zone map, um, you know, what time zone are you in? It'll give you a breakdown here and show you, you know, all the, the, the degrees and the time zone there. Now we go into this. This is among the most interesting sites for amateur radio. And this is a lot of information here. Uh, I will leave this not, you know, just too quick because 
Someone will stop the video and copy whatever. I mean, pay the guy for his efforts. You know what I mean? Um, but there's some stuff here about satellites and all that stuff. Now, here's a good one here. This one is this one hits home, man. This one hits close to the heart. Okay. Look at this page here. Now, power ratio and decibels. Okay. And then you have some common examples of gain and loss. Decibel reference tips, but tags. But here's here's where it hits home. Look at the SWR conversion chart for VSWR reflected power, right? So it tells you clear as day. So another comment that was the other day, well, why, why, you know, uh, you know, I mean, I, I go for resonant antennas with the minimum amount of SWR with no tuner involved. That's how I do it. But if you have a five to one SWR on your Carolina window on 30 meters, okay, and you're using a tuner, well, your SWR uh, is five to one, your, your VSWR DB is 14. Your return loss is 3.52. Your reflected power is 44%. So your transmission loss is 2.55. Your forward power is 55.6. And it is dangerous. Do not broadcast with an SWR that high. Right? But a 1.4 to 1, uh, you're only, you know, return loss is only 15.56 dB. And your reflected power is only 2.78%. So you're still getting out of a 100 watt transmitter, 97.2 watts out of a 1.4 to 1. That's why I don't worry about 1.4 to 1. All the way up to like 1.6, 1.7. Not that bad, okay? But that is uh, good to have, handy, if you're new to ham radio. And <laughs> I'll let you guys read this if you buy the book. About what that S meter means. A lot of people don't understand about you know, the S meter and the DB and, and how much different it takes to go from 10 to 20 DB, but that's in here, okay? Oh, an ERP, effective radiative power calculation. Now, here's a big DB chart, right? It gives you, I, I am going every page, ain't I? DB uh, chart and, and how much power in reference to the DB, okay? Characteristics of the most conventional coaxial cable. A great thing to know. Without having to bring a computer with you on the expedition, look, it'll show you, you know, Ultraflex. Uh, everybody says LMR 400, LMR 400, okay. Well, uh, if you go to LMR 400, which would probably be this one here, RF 400, you know, it'll give you the, the exterior and interior of what it's made with, right? The resistance or impedance in ohms, the millimeter, and the max uh, attenuation in decibels per 100 feet on all the different bands. So very fun to educate yourself on this. You can do it on the internet for free, sure. But having a book like this, if you have a selection of coax and you really want to get down to seeing, well, should I use this or this? There's your answer, okay? Coming up to the end here, in information on propagation, information on the sun and the propagation tells you a lot of stuff here. Uh, main types of propagation, the different layers of the ionosphere, Okay, and more satellites, some stuff, different modes on satellites. So if you want to get confused, go look at satellites and it'll tell you mode V slash U or mode XS or XV. And it'll show you on here what that means in the frequency. So if you're in the field and you want to try satellites, it's right here. Okay. Uh, coming up to the end here, we have the, I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, that's a geostationary satellite that's over Qatar, I think. And, um, Shows you that information. That one sits there and that gives you the footprint of where you can actually operate that satellite from Qatar. I think it's Qatar. And then here we have the Q codes. Gives you an idea of all the Q codes. So if someone's out there and you're new, you're on your very first Parks on the Air, you can kind of see, well, what do you mean QRM? What's that mean? QR Mary. Do you have, you know, do you have human made interference? So let's look at my famous word I hate more than anything in the world. QSL, because I, I refuse to use that word. Can you acknowledge receipt? And the answer is, I will acknowledge receipt. But QR, QSL does not mean, in ham radio, uh, you know, is it sunny there? QSL? No. Is the weather cold there? QSL? No. It's, can you, you know, QSL is really for more DX, and I don't use it on repeaters, I don't use it on D-Star just my thing but I've heard people come back on 30 Charlie on D-Star 
And he says, so, you know, you off work for today? And the guy answers, QSL, 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 QSL. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's not what QSL means. QSL does not mean, yeah, yeah. So, so the response is, so am I making it into the repeater okay? And the guy says, QSL. It's not yes. The, the, the answer should be, uh, am I, you know, you get the idea. I'm, I'm done with that because that'll aggravate me. And then here is uh, a map here for Europe. Regions over here. I guess that opens this way. That's the back side of what I didn't show you. There you go. All right, Caribbean, Europe, and stuff like this. So I want your opinions. First off, I'm going to email Gianni and surprise him and say, hey, remember that thing you sent me that I thought was cool and you thought I just took your thing and left? No. That's the Ham Radio Guide 2022. The encyclopedia for ham radio that will at least get you going and teach you a lot of stuff and be a good guide out in the field with laminated papers. Website is in the description. Tell them I sent you if you want. Make them feel good. All right. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. I hope you, you know, and like I said, between ham radio prep and something like this, you can make yourself a better operator and have a little more insight on what's going on instead of asking that DX call, that's rare. But what do you mean? What did you say? Q QSX? What? Like, you, know, you, could, you could at least have an idea and get yourself off on a running start between ham radio prep, use the code ERIC20. Thank you for them, what they do, man. They really, they really help me out with these videos. They really help me sponsoring. And I believe in their product. That's why I'm going to use them. Uh, my wife kind of petered out on that. Now her mom wants to get it because Michelle hasn't yet. The son started. He got busy with a kid and all that. So, yeah, ham radio prep, though. I believe in the product and I thank them for what they do for me. So anyways, take care. 7-3, the video is, or the link is in the description of this video, right down below. And there's more stuff on the way. So 7-3, this is KJ4YZI.